Look at that. Just look at it. You know what that is? Oh yeah. She finally came in. I got my Photonus PVS 14 Echo White Phosphor Night Vision Monocular. Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so check it out. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out to show you what it comes with. On this side. Okay, I'm trying to do this one-handed, which is ridiculous. I have a tripod and everything, but it's in the truck. It's not in my van apartment. All right. So there's the little finoogle doogle that goes on your head, you know, and you can attach your night vision monocular right there, and you walk around hands-free, baby. Yeah, that's the poor man way of doing it if you don't want to spend $500 on a damn helmet. For now, I'm not too worried about that. I just want to hold it and, and, and use it. I'm, I'm good for now. I'll go hands-free later. And then in this little pouch here, I already opened this thing up. They give you the, uh, the protective lenses, lanyard, all your paperwork, which, okay, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you the specs because I know you night vision freaks are all about the specs. So let's get that out of the way. Photonus Echo. All right. Oh, there's going to be some shadowing because in the light. Hold on. Let me press pause. Okay. I think I'm good now. Alright, so here's what we got. The FOM. See it? 2057. Signal to noise ratio. 30.25. I like that. Gain. Okay. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Output brightness, input current, limiting resolution at center, 68. I, I'm assuming that one is the, the LPR. I'm still learning. Oh, EBI. There's the big one. The EBI. Where am I at here? Measured. Measured. Okay. EBI. Sorry about that. Point two. Yeah. I'll take it. Hatho diameter. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I think those are. Oh, halo. 0.88. All right. All right. So there you go. All right. Get that out of the way. Just a rubber eyepiece. they are there's your gain there's one of the focus dials there's the other focus dial And I've got my protective caps on. Here's the switch. It's pretty basic, just off, on, and then the IR. It was a little tricky at first. I could not figure out how to get it to stay on, but you have to pull towards you and then turn, and then it locks on. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Battery compartment. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside. I'm going to go ahead and get some footage. Now, I uh, I don't have any uh, way to attach my camera to this. So I'm just going to have to hold it up to it. That's going to be ganky, but, you know, whatever. I'll do the best I can because I know you want to see what it looks like. So, let's go. All right, so it's, uh, I think, about 8 p.m. And uh, lots of cloud cover. I don't see a single star. And then as far as 
street lights go. As you can see, quite a few down here. But you'll notice up in the foreground here, I can't see any of that grass. And I can make out the outlines of you know, the tree and whatnot. Uh, and directly in front of me, you know, you can make out the fence, and then beyond the fence, you can see some buildings. And then to my right, yeah, so there you can see um, some cars on the silo and some more buildings. And that's about it with the, uh, you know, the naked eye. What my camera's seeing, that's what I'm seeing. Okay, now, with night vision. So there, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the night vision away. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and walk up to this fence. Actually, I'll walk up in the dark. Scared some birds. So there you can see the lumber yard. I'll take away the night vision. up above the barbed wire. my van apartment. Let's head back down that way. Yeah. So there you have it. I like it. I like it quite a bit. All right. I'll eventually get a little adapter and uh, mount this thing to my phone. Well, mount the phone to it to take steadier videos. But for now, that's all I got. All right. Later.